Hey, it's Jabbo. Welcome to Briggs Are Your Home for Vintage Lego. And I wanted to wear this shirt the other day when we did the update with the uh, construction going on in our Lego room. And I couldn't find it, but I found it today. It's the uh, Building Like Crazy shirt. This is another one of those t-shirts from the 90s. Lego actually did a really good job, I feel, in the 90s with their t-shirt selection and offers. Uh, so I did get a lot of them, but I didn't get all of them. There were so many other shirts that I could have gotten that I didn't. And they just don't seem to do that. I, I guess it wasn't profitable for them back then. But um, yeah, I've had this shirt for a long time. Let's see. 1993. Another one from 1993. So 28-year-old shirt. I um, love the uh, the building like crazy. It's like, got all these... Uh, it, wait a minute. It kind of reminds me of a video set with the, the turquoise. Wait a minute, is that coral? They didn't even have coral back then. I think it's supposed to be orange. So, yeah, vintage shirt for a vintage Lego collector. And so I got a haul today. We got a package this, uh, from that company. And I think this is a surprise because it says Jabbo Briggsar on there. And that's not what Amazon normally calls me. And then I got a package from Lego that Charlie approved of. And I want to talk about, briefly, something with the train from the last video. And I had a lot of other things on my mind. I probably won't cover everything I was thinking of. I will cover some comments, though, at the end of the video. Uh, so, one problem I've had this year, which is a good problem to have in a way, but I feel bad about it also, is that I've gotten so many more comments this year uh, that it's hard for me to keep up with them. And sometimes I'll see a comment, and if I don't respond to it or save it, I have a hard time going back and finding it again. So thank you for all the comments I've been uh, getting this year. And so, yeah, I want to discuss that. We're going to do these hauls. So I'm trying to figure out, what do I want to do first? Oh, let me tell So I've been, we, we painted yesterday, uh, so I, I didn't do much else after the, the last video. And I did open my package up for that. Uh, the train. Uh, I did kind of cleaned up the styrofoam box that was so dirty from that haul. Uh, it's, a, it's actually it's actually a lot better <laughs> than it was. Um, a whole lot better. Mm, no, it's not. <laughs> I soaked it in palm olive. Um, but the motor from that set, so that was a 12 volt set. It was set 720. And it's supposed to be a 12 volt motor. And why is it that people always make a mistake that's in their favor. All right, so I've never gotten a four volt motor or ordered a four volt motor and it come and it's a 12 volt motor, but I have ordered, I think this is the third time I've ordered something that was supposed to be 12 volt and they sent me the much more common, less rare and cheaper four volt motor. Plus he said it wasn't tested. So I went back and looked at the listing and see if he qualified that. And the only thing he said is that the motor has not been tested. He does not say he substituted uh, the four volt motor for it. And you can easily tell because it says four on the red. There's a red four right there, right there. Well, you can't see it because it's dirty, <laughs> but it's supposed to have a yellow 12. And so it can be easily replaced. Take the screws off. I've done a video on this actually. We take the screws off, pull the old motor out, put the 12 volt motor in. I'm running out of 12 volt motors. I ordered four. I got four of them on eBay years ago. I think I'm down. I may have two. I don't want to keep one with the box, so I don't really want to use it. But I I just messaged. I had already left actually already left them positive feedback before I noticed that, but I still would have left them positive because it's it's a common mistake. So I just messaged them and let them know, hey, this is a common mistake. It's happened to me a few times on BrickLink. I think a lot of people don't know that there is a difference between the four volt motor and the twelve volt motor. Um, and you sent me the cheaper one. This, the, give you an example. This is probably still just a few dollars versus it's going to be over twenty usually for the uh, twelve volt motor. All right. So before I get into the other things I'm going to talk about, I better do my haul. So I'm going to start with this one, and this is from Amazon. This could change the whole thing of how I do this video. I don't know. <laughs> uh oh. I do not believe this. You have got to be kidding. <laughs> I 
Where's the note? It's the Seinfeld reference, is what this is. Uh, it's from Joey Jones. <laughs> it's from Break Trains. <laughs> the puffy shirt. So, guess what, folks? Apparently, I'm going to be, at some point, wearing a puffy shirt. And since Break Trains sent it to me, it's going to be on his channel. For sure. <laughs> Unless he edits it out. Uh, but yeah, it's the pirate, the puffy pirate shirt that uh, Jerry had to wear and he didn't want to wear it. And uh, oh my goodness, I cannot believe this. <laughs> Thank you, Joey, I think. <laughs> that is so hilarious. Yeah, yeah. You're going to get it now. Brick Trains. Check out the A Fool podcast. I'll be wearing a puffy shirt at some point, apparently. All right, so I went to um Lego store. That's why I got this nice paper uh, bag from Lego store. And I wanted, I was going there to look for the bouquet of flowers, which they were, they told me they had nine of them coming on the truck the next day, tomorrow, as I'm filming this. And I'm like, ugh. I know the truck always comes on Friday. I said, I know I need to come there on Friday, but because of the way my schedule is, I'm not always in that area. And I was in that area, so I stopped by there, and it's like, I don't know if I'll be there tomorrow, especially in the morning when the truck is... Uh, so, yeah, I may not be getting the flowers. But I got this instead. Oh, and the... Um, so there was an item that has a gift with purchase in Europe, but not in the United States. And it's this. The... Porsche 911, and since I'm a 911 repairman, I had to get the Porsche 911. Is that what this is? It's better be a 911. Yeah, 911, not the TV show. 911. Um, and since they didn't have um, the gift for purchase available in the U.S. because of shipping problems. Uh, they they gave me an alternative, and they said you could pick the ice skating rink or the Charles Dickens. So I took the Charles Dickens, um, 333 pieces. So thank you, Lego, for making a substitute, not just leaving us in the lurch there. Um, and I and I did the pick a brick wall. Um, I got I think these are medium flesh one by two tiles. I always try to get tiles when they're on there. I got some hair. Is that my hair? Yeah, I got some. One by two coral bricks and one by one coral plates. And I'll show you why I got those in, as we get our transition now. I need to, um, well, no, I can stay on this side of the camera, but I need to do something. So, yeah, I'm still here. Hold on a minute. Don't trip over anything. Hello, it's Bricks. Let's see if this works. I don't think it shows up as well with it in the cup. I should have taken the tape off first. Whoops. But coral is a pretty good black light color I think what do you think my curiosity box <laughs> Vsauce the curiosity curiosity box it's a flashlight and black light um, so you can see uh, investigate the uh, crime scene oh, I'm still painting why, why did I show you that so yeah there's stuff on everywhere I'm gonna uh, go over some viewer comments and not in my puffy shirt because I only wear one shirt per video and so again I mentioned I've been very busy uh, getting the room ready so that's put a lot of things on hi hiatus and I got a question a few days ago from Turbo Bricks, who says, when are you going to do a train from the book by Charles Pritchett? So I had, 
that was a, a, a good book that had some, it was an, a basically an instruction book that they did send me. And I was going to piece, piece together uh, one of the, the, the cars, uh, and I just hadn't had time. And it's the same reason I haven't finished the brick model railroader stuff. I want to get the Lego room finished, and then I can start doing things like that, like building bigger sets, uh, display, you know, having things on display now, building the city. I haven't even been able to do, I haven't had the time to do videos for uh, Trains Are. I'd rather do these videos here where I'm talking to you. <laughs> Uh, then they even do a video for Trains Are Fun. Um, another question, is, uh, this was asked by Denise James, and I don't remember if I answered it. So, if I, And she also said she asked it on another video, so it's possible I answered it, possible I didn't, so I'm going to answer it this time just to make sure. And this was about the uh, small curve tracks, like in the Indiana Jones and the Alien set, This, uh, the little uh, narrow gauge, we like to call them. It says, will it work with the small poly bag trains so i did a video some of those it will not work uh, the radius is too wide and it won't turn with the train still coupled there are some that it will work and some that it won't so it, the radius is what like it'll go on the straight tracks uh, but you can't go around the curves because of uh, uh yeah, it just gets a little too it's too narrow, too tight of a curve, I think, on some of those. I think I did one video where I tried it out with that. All right, here's the, the question of the day. Um, Micah de Groot says, How do you make sure not to wear the same shirt twice? Also, how many, how, how do you own so many shirts? I may have answered this one before. Um, they go in a box. After I, so the, when I get done with this video, taking this shirt off. It's going in a box. Um, and I'm going to save this shirt out and I'm going to have it ready to wear. And when I wear it on this channel, it's going in a box. So I got to wear it on Brick Train's channel first, Joey. <laughs> and then I put it in the box and then I can't wear it again. I, I probably should get that one in there pretty soon, right? <laughs> David V. 2002. Wait, I think I just covered a question from him in a recent video. He says, What's the origin of the name Jabbo? That's going to be a documentary, so but I have some ideas how I want to do that, and I may end up just answering the question directly, but I want to take some of our old films and kind of piece together uh, Jabbo, the documentary. <laughs> Mayo asks, uh, what happened to the foil air duct where you used to station the BrickLink store? So the camera's there. Uh, this, these are the shelves. There's a table here. There's a lot of junk is back on again, by the way. But behind, directly behind it, that's where some of the location from the earliest BrickLink store videos that I used to do. I'm talking in 2013. All right, so th there was a lot of duct work visible there. It's completely covered now uh, by sheetrock. I'm not even going to bother to turn uh, the camera around, but it's covered up by sheetrock. And this got me thinking, and... We've been doing this painting, which I'm not going to show you today. We'll show you when we're closer to uh, completion. But I really do want to cover the ceiling. Uh, and I'm going to start in that other room first, I think. And I, I was looking at Home Depot's website, because I haven't looked in the store recently with this, but the, the drop ceiling materials are so much easier. And I was like, oh my goodness, it's been 20 years since I've done drop ceiling uh, i didn't think about the technology improving it's actually easier to install so i'm thinking before we start the city i need to do the drop ceiling Dude, that may take a lot of time even though it's easier but yeah i want to hide the the insulation and the pipes and the duct work and have the lights all nice and fixed so uh, that's going to be another project but i think uh, it'll, it'll make it harder to do videos in the meantime, but once I get done, it's going to look really good in that room, and then eventually uh, I'll do this room here. Uh, can't stack things as high, though, if I do the drop ceiling. <laughs> All right, the Empire State Creates. Is that New York? The Empire State? It says, was Chima an attempt at making Fabuland an action theme? I just realized the connection when I saw the Fabuland crocodile and remember the crocodile in Chima. So that is something 
uh, Chima uh, did, made us think of, did make us think of Fabuland because of the anthropomorphic animals, you know, well, that's, it's uh, given things that aren't humans, human characteristics, uh, so like the uh, yeah, anthropomorphic characters were all these different animals in Chima, as I'm picking up all these coral bricks and putting them back in the cup, um, but uh, I guess, I don't know what it is to me that I like Fabulan. I should also like Chima. And I don't know why I don't. I think it's more because everybody looks like they got a mask on. Whereas Chima, they just got more charm. So, I, not Chima. Oh, did I say that with Chima? I am so tired. Somebody's going to take that clip and use it now. Ch not Chima. Fabulan. <laughs> Fabulan has more charm. Chima is just... I, it, it didn't have the same charm to me. Maybe my opinion will change in years to come. That's why I haven't thrown away all my Chima sets. I still got them. So, yeah, I, d I don't think that um, I'm looking at my Fabulan sets as I'm talking. Sorry. Uh, I think that Fabulan just the, the characters stood out more because they're a little bit larger and the Chima characters seem to be behind masks and costumes, uh, which makes me think of the um, the video. And I may be wrong about video. I mean, I really think the theme overall will fail. Uh, this shirt also makes me think of video because of these turquoise and orange coral colors. Um, I'm probably going to have to get some video sets, but definitely the, the app's definitely for children. Actually, it seems to be for girls. But uh, I think that it's not going to be as big a failure because they did make it in such a way that you can collect it without worrying about the stupid app. Uh, I mean, I don't. I think it's a foregone conclusion that the app will fail. Uh, I don't think kids are going to be interested in it. I don't think it's going to hold kids' attention span. I may be wrong. I'm not a kid. I used to play one on TV. No, I didn't even do that. But actually, I did. No, I didn't. Um, but, yeah, quote me on this. I think the app will fail, <laughs> but I think people are going to collect it for the characters, which you could compare it to Chima, you can compare it to Fabuland, so some interesting characters, but I just, all the colors, it's like, I know they're going for that, like the popping with the colors, but it's almost too similar to me. It's like, where are the more boy colors? You know, I was like, are they going to do that in another wave? Because this seems just too... It's like if you saw a person dressed like any of these characters walking down the street, you'd be like, weirdo, weirdo. It's kind of the same reaction I get when I walk down the street. But anyway, yeah, tell me what you think. And thank you for watching this video. I'll be back tomorrow in a different shirt. But for now, I'm going to go because i got to finish painting those stinking legs on in, on tables in my city so that it'll look much better uh, when I do show it again. See you guys. Thanks for the questions. And sorry if I missed your questions over the last several weeks. How do I have so many shirts? I don't throw them away.